E-Boys, Wolves, and a Fat Guy with Antlers? Let's play. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Third Place Gaming. My name is Brad, and today we're going to check out a fairly new popular game on the Steam Marketplace, free to play, called Idle Big Devil. Now apparently this is a idle play game, I'm not normally a big fan of those, but apparently this one has some other aspects to it that make it a little bit more engaging when you play. So let's go ahead, jump in and check it out. Alright, so... We're starting off with some heroic summons, I guess. I got an E-boy. Okay. Dear Lord, you've recruited two heroes. Okay. Auto battle. All right. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a lot like Raid Shadow Legends very similar to that, so... Okay. Wait. Okay. Let me just keep going. Can look at my loot, claim it. That menu to start combining shards. Okay. So I guess while they're fighting, I can earn shards, combine them to unlock new heroes. Oh, and I can just throw the hero out in the middle of battle. Okay. He's a big crab man. So it looks like... Hold on. I'm going to upgrade a hero now, I guess. Send. I guess just upgrade. Okay. Tap upgrade button over and over again. Okay. Good job, me. Okay, so in order to clear the first boss levels, you're recommended to upgrade all heroes to level five. Level five. Okay. So basically, I can just kind of keep running through this scenario over and over again, collecting... I guess I'm getting coins when they die. Do I get anything from these guys when they die? I'm not sure, because there's no real loot like shown or anything like that, so... Let's go ahead. Cool. Alright, let's arrange your lineup. Alright, so I can get bonuses for having different heroes on different playtimes, so that's pretty standard stuff. I mean, this really does feel a lot like Raid Shadow Legends to me. It's not bad though. I mean, oh, I have to click the boss button, maybe? No, no, I'm fighting the boss. Okay. Cool. Uh, they can all be upgraded. Oh, okay, so I can just click and upgrade all buttons so I don't have to sit there and spam that. Now... Okay, so now we're getting into elite bosses. I wasn't sure if this is it, because there seemed to be a ton of stuff on the menu. But I wasn't entirely sure. I'll be honest, I might have to do a versus video with this one versus Raid Shadow Legends. They do seem very similar. Um, I haven't really played much of Raid Shadow Legends. I played for a little bit, but... Let's see. Oh, I didn't read the cards. Oh, wait, I can claim it up here. I guess not. Okay. I guess if you don't read it quick enough, then you're just out of luck. Oh. Alright, you just acquired new gear. Let's equip them on your hero. Okay. Tap the little E-boy. Auto-equip the E-boy. Continue to fight with the E-boy. Come. Cool. Complete mainline stage 7. Now I'm wondering, can I upgrade just whenever I want? So like, who's... Let's see, 9, 9, 9, 4, 1. So let's upgrade you. What level are you? What did I just do? Where's her level? Oh, level 10. Okay. Spacing. So 9, 9, 11, 9, 4. Let's get you up a little bit. There we go. Let's upgrade the kitty cat crab. 
It's a weird sentence. Alright. Let's try that. Now that I've kind of beefed them up, see how they do. Yeah, they kind of just shred through them. Right. Unlock achievement to get fabulous rewards. Okay. So for this one, I got a hero, it looked like. It kind of doesn't really give you a chance to see it sometimes. It just kind of goes through it. Deploy two five-star heroes to one lineup. So... Okay, so that would be this guy. So let's remove... If I click you, does it give me any information? No. So let's yeah, we'll click that. Let's upgrade him real quick. Where is he? This guy. There we go. Now let's see what the lineup looks like for 11. Okay. So let's battle. Oh, he's like a giant antler man. That's cool. Wait, what? Did he die? What was that? That was weird. Maybe he can like make a duplicate or something? I don't know. I mean, all in all, it's it's not a bad game. Upgrade all. I can see how it's definitely like if you're watching something on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, and you're just wanting something on the background just to kind of play. Uh, let me check something real quick. I'm going to see if this game is mobile. Okay, so it does not appear that this game is on mobile. It looks like it's just on Steam or, or another spot like that, but it is not mobile. So this would be an idle game that would be basically just running on your computer in the background. Now, I'm not condoning this, but if anybody is working from home right now, this might be a pretty solid game just to have in the background. Um, you know, working on some spreadsheets and things. And just kind of have it in the background that you can check it on it every once in a while just to see what's going on. Alright, so let's check out talents. Okay, so there's a whole tree here. This looks like it gives baseline attack to my heroes. Okay, that's interesting. Click that. Click. Alright. What's everybody doing? Alright. Oh, I have an achievement. Two achievements. Three achievements. Cool. Unlocked Elf Guardian. Okay, the things go too fast. I can't read that fast. Elf Guardian summons. I don't know what the puzzle pieces are for yet. I'm assuming that's something that'll explain. Oh, again, I can summon some heroes. Okay. Let's grind through this real quick. Just, I want to see what the other things are because I am very curious as to what else I can do in this game okay so here's auto mode let's just oh, okay it changes the camera a little bit auto mode I don't know it must choose when to do the bosses and everything like that there's five star hero shards to summon a hero I don't think I have five star Hero shards. Where are hero shards? Are these hero shards? Okay, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can leave this battle. No, okay, that hides the menu. Oh, I guess the back arrow. Duh. Alright, so let's check out this lovely display of user interface here. So the bag. This would be my AFK timer. What I get when I'm not playing. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have some heroic scrolls and a prophet's chest. Let's claim that and delete it. Looks like they got some events going on that cost 4.199999 US dollar. Okay, so there's clearly a very large cash shop. Login rewards. Looks like... Achievements to do each day, calendars for events, and daily tasks, which I guess I've claimed and beaten a couple. Go me. Alright, I guess, I don't know. Oh, it adds stores, okay. That's cool. Alright, so where do I go? Where was it? To 
summon things? Is it the tavern? Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and summon a common hero. See what we get. We got this guy. Okay, I guess I, I don't get that guy? I don't know. Okay, let's... Okay. Oh, it's kind of like to continue... I'm dumb. Alright. I mean, there's some interesting looking ones on the, the designs and stuff like that, so that's kind of cool. And it's a little bit of... Gotta catch them all type flare. No, I don't want to do that. No. Cancel. I want to waste my hard-earned diamonds. Crazy. I got some twigs. Nice. Can I get this? Okay. Alright, um... There's an arrow pointing there. Oh, it takes me back to the game. Okay. So, I'm wondering... Is there a way to, like... Sacrifice heroes. I know that might sound morbid, but like talent bonuses. A thirty-five star. Oh. Okay, I guess. So let's see. So it looks like these are summons that I can do while just playing the game. The puzzle pieces. Deploy three five star heroes. So let's do... He's a blue. I don't have a blue. Who's my lowest? You two. Um, I don't know anything about these heroes. So I'm not really sure... Like... Uh, I don't remember how to upgrade this. Yeah, okay. Get him up there real quick. And then let's take out a boss. Collect. Boom. I'm sure there's much more to this game. Um, I guess I'm just not seeing it yet. But what we're going to do is I'm going to let this run in the background while we get into the review. All right, first off is gonna be graphics. The game looks nice. I mean, it's nothing to like write home about. I'm pretty sure Raid looks a little bit cleaner. Go out of my way to brag about the graphics of this game, but I have definitely seen worse. And so I would say for what it is, a free idle game graphics wise, seven out of 10. Gameplay, again, it's very straightforward. It is an idle play game. You sit here, you can occasionally upgrade stuff, unlock new heroes. But for the most part, this is a game that you're not supposed to devote your time and attention to. It plays itself, and you can kind of jump in and out as you feel, you know, as you feel like you want to. I feel like these games, they're fun for a while, and then eventually you hit a wall where a cash shop is almost required. And so, okay, yeah, right there for gameplay, it looks like there's a thing where you can combine heroes. I'm sure at some point this game will get to where you can, you know, like, sacrifice heroes to increase others. And so, I would say, sadly, while the gameplay is fun, idle games can only go so far. And so I'm going to have to give it a 6 out of 10. It's a little bit better than average because it does have a few extra things, but it's not exceptional. Quality-wise, the game sounds good. It, you know, it flows well. Tutorial kind of just jumps you right in there so there's no just endless, you know, reading of a screen. It's not bad. I will say the UI is very jumbled. It is kind of a chaotic mess. You know, everything I clicked on was, you know, either a cash shop or it was this or it was that. It was very messy. And so quality-wise, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 10. It's not great. There are a few things it does well, but otherwise it's just, it's way too messy of a game. And so yeah, I mean, the game's not bad. I would say check it out overall. It, it's a decent game. It's an idle clicker, so I don't know what else you really are expecting from it. Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and do a versus video between this game and Raid Shadow Legends, just because Raid Shadow Legends is also an extremely popular idle type game. Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers are sponsored by Shadow Legends, and so they're always plugging the game in their Discord servers and fancy things like that. 
So we'll go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and get a versus together, set that up. But yeah, so, I mean, again, it's not a bad game. It is on Steam. It's free to play. If you enjoy idle games, check it out. Don't forget to do me a huge favor. Like and subscribe. Just click right down there. Subscribe to these videos. I've got a goal that I'm trying to reach for the end of August. It's just a small goal, something really simple. Just trying to hit 35 subs. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to do something a little interesting. Uh, I've got a fun little video in mind, and so I would love to be able to do that and do something a little bit fun for those of you that are at least pretending to enjoy my stuff. But in the meantime, go ahead and throw down in the comments if there's any videos, anything like that that you'd be interested in seeing me try. And yeah, peace.